Periodically, our planet fails. With luck, holes of various sizes and the degree of bottomlessness are formed in deserted seas, jungles, taiga and tundra. But it also happens that whole cities are under the threat of going underground. In some cases, nature itself is responsible for such tricks, simply confronting a person with a fact. But more and more often people are responsible for such incidents. This video will show the top of the most beautiful and terrible, big and deep dips. Places where the center of the Earth gets a little closer. Guatemala. In the capital of Guatemala, the city was practically nothing, except that it did not have an almost perfect round hole with sheer walls a hundred meters deep. As a result of this tragedy, five people died at once. Worst of all, these victims were not the last. After only three years, in May 2010, another similar failure occurred in Guatemala, with 20 meters depth 90 meters, which completely destroyed the three-story factory building. As a result of this incident, 15 people have already died. Both tragedies were caused by a combination of factors, leaking sewage and heavy rains that triggered the flood simply eroded the volcanic and limestone rocks on which the city stands. In China, earth dips form especially frequently. Natural disasters in this huge country are combined with extremely intensive construction, which is often carried out with a flagrant violation of all established norms and rules. Last summer, the construction of a new underground railway station in the southern Chinese city of Dongguan ended in the fact that almost a whole street went underground. As a result of this incident, 15 people have already died. Both tragedies were caused by a combination of factors, leaking sewage and heavy rains that triggered the flood, simply eroded the volcanic and limestone rocks on which the city stands. At the Ein Gedi Israeli oasis, located on the shores of the Dead Sea, thousands of failures form. The reason for their formation was the constant, ongoing and today lowering of the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is one of the most saline reservoirs in the world. Moreover, due to the increasing analysis of water from the Jordan River, the water level in the sea falls at a speed of about a meter per year. The rock salinized by the sea begins to actively erode with fresh groundwater, which, in turn, leads to the formation of numerous and vast voids, the obligatory precursors of failures. It is extremely difficult to predict their appearance, which poses a serious threat to the tourism potential of the region. Visitors who wanted to dine at the IHOP Pancake Fast Food, located in the provincial town of Meridian in the heart of Mississippi, were definitely not prepared for the surprise that nature had brought them. On November 9, 2015 at 1915, a giant trench 182 meters long and 15 meters wide suddenly appeared in the restaurant parking lot. A dozen cars of the institution's customers immediately fell into it. Most likely, the cause of the incident was prolonged rains, which had been going on in Meridian for two weeks by then. Local media reported that a storm collector was passing right under the parking lot, which apparently could not withstand the pressure of the incoming water. According to another version, the failure could have occurred due to construction work being carried out on this site. At the time of the emergency, the IHOP restaurant was working for only a week, and the construction of the hotel continued nearby. Fortunately, the cars were the only ones injured during this incident. We will return to China. Here formed another deepest natural failure of the earth, an underground river flowing in the Difan Cave in the Chinese municipality of Chongqing. Eventually eroded the limestone forming local mountains. The result was logical, the resulting cast funnel is 662 meters deep and more than half a kilometer wide. 
Cavers discovered it relatively recently, in 1994, after which the hole was nicknamed Heavenly Pit. In addition to tourists, the pit was chosen by numerous plants and animals, including a rare smoky leopard. Tapui a specific table mountains in Venezuela, the remains of an ancient plateau are isolated from the rest of the world at their feet. On their flat peaks, there is a special world with endemic species of plants and animals that have developed along their path for millennia. In addition to this circumstance, Tapui are also curious by the numerous karst craters, the largest of which are located on Mount Sarazar and Yama in the Venezuelan state of Bolivar. They were formed during the collapse of the arches of tunnels of underground rivers, literally piercing the mountain. The largest of the four dips on Sarasarinium are Sima Humboldt and Sima Martel. Located 700 meters from each other, extending 300 to 350 meters deep into the Tapui. At their bottom there is a life, including even large trees. And this life was isolated from the top of the plateau and from the big earth, a unique microcosm in the microcosm, a thing in itself, discovered only in the 1960s. This crater in the Turkmen desert of Karakum has a talking nickname, Gates of Hell. From the outside, he really looks ominous. In the early 1970s, Soviet geologists, who were looking for gas near the village of Darvaz, first found an underground cavity instead, where all their equipment fell. However, in addition to the cave, there was still gas there, which began to actively seep into the environment wanting to save people and their cattle from possible poisoning by the products of these earth emissions, geologists set fire to gas, hoping that it would quickly burn out. The scale of the field exceeded their expectations. Darvaz a crater is still burning, becoming a tidbit for extreme tourists. For 30 years, since 1986, in the territory and in the immediate vicinity of the Ural city Solikamsk and Bereznakai, six major failures were formed at once. Since the 1930s, there has been an active extraction of potash salts, as a result of which settlements were surrounded by large scale mine workings. Moreover, the cities that grew over time eventually occupied the territory above them, and only a relatively thin, 250 to 350 meter jumper separated them from the vast underground voids. Salt rock underground continues to dissolve in groundwater. This process deforms the intershaft bridges left in the workings, which ultimately leads to destabilization of their structure flooding of mines, cracking, and man-made earthquakes. The failures in Beresnikai and Solokamsk continue to increase, which has already led to the resettlement of entire urban areas on the surface and the closure of a number of enterprises. This is not the largest or deepest failure on the surface of the Earth, but it is the most beautiful. The usual cast funnel formed after the collapse of the arches of limestone caves was flooded by the Caribbean Sea. The result of the work of nature could not but please people. Surrounded by a coral reef and azure shallow water, the Big Blue Hole, 120 meters deep, was examined by the expedition of the outstanding traveler Jacques-Yves Cousteau, who discovered this formation to the general public. Despite its remoteness from the coast and a certain danger, especially during tides causing unpredictable whirlpools, thousands of divers are now sailing to this sea dip to go down to its bottom, to see the stalactites growing there, and enjoy the tropical inhabitants of this amazing place along the way. For the first time, scientists discovered the Batagai Fault in the mid-1960s. At that time it was a relatively small ravine, 
but over the past five decades it has grown to a cyclopean size of a kilometer long, 800 meters wide and 100 meters deep. The failure resembling an overgrown tadpole is located in a sparsely populated area near the village of Batagai where tin mining was started by the forces of the prisoners before the Great Patriotic War. The emergence of this curious object is connected with this circumstance. A forest was cut down for the needs of the created mine in the vicinity of Batagay. Subsequently, permafrost was actively melting in this area, as a result of which the upper soil layer fell into the resulting voids. From the point of view of the region's ecology, the ongoing and now the process is negative. But rare tourists here, and especially scientists who have received a convenient training ground for studying permafrost, are satisfied with what happened. According to the Yako tradition, the remains of a mammoth and ancient plants, whose age reaches 200,000 years, have already been discovered here.